Well, hello there, YouTube. Today is the 26th of June, and this is going to be our humble, ab humble abode for for a couple of days or so. We are in Cortez, Colorado, and this little motel is awesome. I mean, this thing is like from the 50s or 60s. The the rooms the rooms have like 60s furniture and I don't know how old this place is but it is so incredibly retro I absolutely love it to death this is awesome it's weird it's still got an old name but it's got a, a new name to it but they left the old sign I'm assuming we look there's a damn I told you I heard a quad there's a freaking Honda shop sitting right there I can literally walk right next door to the Honda shop. Yeah. Anyway, we're heading, uh, well, we're going to hit Walmart's first. And then we're going to head, you know what? I've been riding eco mode all this time. Time to get rid of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Literally the entire trip I've been riding in eco mode. But I've been averaging about 37 miles at a gallon with crazy winds and everything else. Had no idea what it even looked like here. We came here last night in the absolute black of night. But it's already, whew, it's already 84, which actually <laughs> it feels cool after yesterday. We, uh, most of the way it was 96, 98, and then uh, ended off in the hundreds. It was hot. Yesterday we stopped for about an hour and a half or so with Strip Bolt and his brother in uh, uh, Spanish Fort, Utah. It was just south of uh, Salt Lake City a bit. I don't know, 50 miles south, just in case you don't know where Spanish Fork is. It's around Provo and in that area, which was, again, very awesome to to meet him. Yeah, I've been chatting with Strip Bolt for about a year now. It was, I think, right before, or, it's either right before or right after he purchased, I think it's right before he purchased his bolts. So it's been about a year ago. And uh, it's weird to, to meet him, and it's like I, like we've been longtime friends. Hey, you just it, the reality keeps hitting you. I've never met this guy before, but yet I feel like I know him. I wonder if he felt the same way. But anyway, that was really cool. That was fun. Great lunch too. Yeah, it was really good. We, because uh, we knew we were going, we were going into extreme heat, so we wanted to eat real light. And uh, man, it's just huge, huge plates, and very reasonable prices. And it was kind of a buffet kind of a thing. Hello there, YouTube. You are now in Durango, Colorado. We haven't made it to the fairgrounds yet, but we're driving through and seeing this beautiful river and people rafting down. Thought we'd swing down here and take a take a look. See, uh, which way is this bus gonna go? Well, hello there, you two. It looks like I have stumbled across a fairground thing here. Please don't tell me this is the whole thing. There's got to be more to it than this. Oh. Yeah, it's probably a vendor village of some sort, huh? We'll just pull in here and check out our, our, our mapping software. How about that? 
Let's see what, what we got going on here. Yeah, this is just a vendor's thing. I'll stop you here a second. All right. So that was just a little vendor thing that was back there. This is the actual spider event. I, it, it is moto vlogging now, woman. So I'm just gonna whiz. I guess we'll just pull right here. Compact cars only. So there's motorcycles or spiders, a bajillion out here. Thanks, little woman. I hope you guys ever wondered what the dual fans blowing forward sound like. That's it. <laughs> Lots of sound. So we're going to go in here and go roam around. We'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Looks like most of the people are off on a ride. Went by uh, Dan, Larry, and Keys campsite. Well, we walked to the entrance of it. We've seen that they're not there. They're probably all off on a ride. But the little woman got to meet Lamontster, Lamont Bryden. So that was kind of cool. Lots of BRP stuff everywhere here. Must be a huge ride going on because everybody bailed out. I do like this two-tone idea. I'm thinking that white demo with red on the top would have, as my wife said, a very road king-ish look. But the event goes way back into there. We're on the outskirts of it actually now. All the vendor tables and everything look like they're empty. I see Lamont still standing over there. I'll zoom in on him. So for now, I'm a bounce. Over here, I'll let you see the cool spider semi here. I don't know how that's coming out on film, but that truck that beat red looks like it's purple through the camera. This is the little course they set up for, for doing demo rides and whatnot. Are waiting for the next group of people in Colorado. Apparently, like a uh, Utah before it is a no helmet state. I see people riding around everywhere. I don't, I don't see Lamont standing there, but there's a the spider there. But the event goes all the way back in there. Here, Harley in the mix here. What do we got here? Another group taking off. So anyway, me and the mama gonna go find something to eat and go goof off. Oh, there's a lot standing right there. Let's spy on him right quick. He wouldn't see me. I'm so far away, he wouldn't see me anyway. So, we roamed around here a little bit. And, uh, looks like most of the people are out on one of the, one of the big rides they're doing. Met. Went up and said, hated Lamont, and my wife got to meet him. If you guys don't know, Lamontster. I walked around with a handy cam, did a little bit of videoing there. There's his. Oh, he took off. But anyway, that was cool. Just thought I'd come back. I, there's probably going to be a handheld version mixed in before this, but we're going to go bail out, get something to eat, and there's a lot of cool little things in a in a Cortez. I think. I think we're gonna eat go back to Cortez and eat but we do need to get gas because it's uh 47 miles I mean I'd make it but I just not one of them people that like to risk that kind of thing oh my goodness look at that Cadillac 
the guy's probably still driving that thing because he's probably still paying for it when he did it back in 79 or whatever year that thing is <laughs> see anyway i'll talk to you guys later we'll see ya take care we're gonna fly dirty we're gonna go to walmart's dirty style i'm gonna get some hate for this look at this no gear no gloves no helmets <laughs> take that see ya a lot of fun and before you flame me too much you do realize this is just a car without a cage it doesn't fall over it's not it's not gonna fall over it can't tip over it's a spider if you don't know that do some research on the spider but uh just missing a cage is all but uh it is very fun to do very fun and it's slow it's 35 miles an hour through town so there hope you had fun